Constituents of VA for North, fellow St. Lucians, greetings. I thank the Holy Spirit for the breath of life, for strength, for family, and for constant provision, and of course, for guidance. It is Christmas time, a time when traditionally we reach out to each other and look out for those in need with greater vigor. It is also a time for reflection and for preparation as we face a new year. Thanks to you, the people of VFOR North, for electing me as your parliamentary representative in what will be for me a memorable election. We promise to put your business first. We started immediately and will continue to do just that. I look forward to working with all of you during this term in government to achieve our goals and to create the reality which kept us awake through our dreams for so many years. As you are aware, we have been dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic as a country, in our healthcare facilities, within our communities, and in our families. We have all been affected in some way or another, whether it be in contracting the illness, having family members who did, or dealing with the untimely death of our loved ones. Undoubtedly, our mental health was also dealt a massive blow as we were faced with constant restrictions on socializing and physical distancing from our loved ones. Throughout all these difficulties, we stuck together and remained strong. There were some difficult choices for all of us, but we came together as one family, one nation, doctors, nurses, all the staff at our hospitals, fire officers, police officers, to slow the spread of COVID-19, at least for now. During this Christmas season, we must all do even more to ensure that we continue to be safe. As we prepare to celebrate, I urge you to remember those among us who need help, the elderly, the vulnerable, children, and the challenged. While you reach out to them this Christmas, continue to think of them throughout 2022 and lend a hand as best as you can. COVID-19 has changed the world. Life as we knew it has become even more challenging. However, this is the time when we must get creative, focus, and determine to carve out new paths to constant progress. We cannot and must not fold our arms and give up. Our government will be here to help you. I will be there at the table of Viewfort North constituency leaders to lock arms with you to move our communities forward. I also urge all of us in our communities in Viewfort North, those of us from Greece, from Peru and Opicon, from Savans, from Vigie Kako, from Bellevue, everywhere, to be responsible with our actions as we enjoy ourselves. I pray that we will come through this traditional season accident and incident free. Thanks and a peaceful, safe and prosperous new year to all those who have provided support during this COVID-19 pandemic. All of our people in St. Lucia, both in the public and private sector, the COVID-19 management center, governments who are our friends and partners, to the leadership and staff of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, the leadership and staff of all of our hospitals and healthcare institutions, particularly our healthcare workers and all those in the front line of the COVID-19 battle. Thanks to the Prime Minister and Cabinet colleagues for their support, both to my constituents and to the ministry which I lead. Happy New Year to the staff at the Parliamentary Office and their families. May the Holy Spirit bless you and give you peace. I wish everyone an enjoyable and safe Christmas and a happy, happy, healthy and prosperous New Year. Blessings to all. Peace and love.